everybody and welcome to um, the brief unboxing of Dreamwell, uh, this game by uh, Action Phase, uh, designed by uh, Tara McPherson, which is, the, which is the illustrator and artist basically uh, responsible for this uh, fantastic game. It's a very simple game, but you could also say basically that it's a, I don't know, a children's game, but still, uh, this is just a brief unboxing. This is the... Okay, let's, let me have my... Uh, trusty karambit here just to unbox the thing okay very briefly okay very easy uh, this has the um, this is supposed to be the deluxe version because it has uh, uh, this cover you can actually slide the cover can you and you reveal the actual the original cover so I just wanted the deluxe version for some extra feature. It's kind of fun to have actually an extra cover uh, designed by uh, Tara herself. Okay, inside the box, uh, we will find basically just um, uh, ba the basic instruction, first of all. It's not a complicated game, it's relatively simple, nothing much of it. Uh, just a standard uh, manual, as you can see here. It's, be it's very brief, uh, a small, the, the illustration are very small, you, you, as you can see here. And this is actually will tell you about the rules of the game. Uh, there are two versions basically of the game, uh, the simple version and the advanced version. Okay, then we have um, an extra and uh, fantastic uh, decoration here, designed by Thor McPherson. Okay. Uh, then we have all the insert and cutout. Basically, you will have your um, your uh, player will, 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 will be represented by this floating balloon, and also um, you have also the um, every single sign, which makes it like this, and he has his own stand. So it's a it's a little it's a little plastic stand. But instead of using this one, I actually went ahead and um, made myself uh, some nice <laughs> balloon stands here and in various different colors so I could use them okay instead of just uh, using the original one so you can actually uh, use these um, balloons instead of the uh, cardboard one they are actually better like this in this way and I made it relatively easy so it's kind of a these are supposed to be balloons uh, they have their own stand and in the and the other side you have this kind of a decoration here yeah okay so these are not included of course in the box I just made them with the plasticine then inside the uh, the rest of the box you have the cards which is uh, they are uh, different from the um, the other ones because uh, the deluxe version has these uh, these um, uh, the tarot cards so basically they are much bigger than a regular the standard uh, car so almost almost twice no, I don't know but still I just wanted these um, uh, the uh, deluxe version because I wanted the uh, uh, the extra room basically since this game is designed by Farah McPherson I wanted something bigger uh, to have uh, for memory basically instead of having a regular size card I wanted big illustration as you can see here as you can see here, you have a lot of uh, cards. Basically, these are the uh, cards that will tell you how where to move. Uh, you have various forms, you have various creatures inside. Uh, the whales, the swan, and all these evil black creature, ace, the, the little some kind of bear here. And these are the ones where they, they have the white uh, border here. So these are the, the one dedicated to the normal game. Then after a while, you have the, uh, the ones that have the black uh, border here. And these are for the advanced game. And in the meantime, you have these uh, movement cards. You have also the, the creatures card. So the one that tells you uh, if you located one of the creatures, because basically in, in the game, you are looking for, uh, for creatures. Okay, then uh, in the end, you also have Okay, some extra uh, action, so just a reminder here. And also the, yeah, uh, as I told you before. So these are basically uh, the main deck, consistent, and the other ones are for the advanced version. Okay, you can also, you can also have the two of us. Then uh, again, inside the box, you have the tiles. Okay, these are, these basically are the 
uh, the, the part of the game because you uh, you use uh, these tiles to uh, set up the board. Uh, you technically you don't have the board game because you don't have a general board, but you have all these tiles. So all these tiles they can actually be put together uh, one next to the other one. So in order to create, they can also be rotated. They can be rotated to create uh, basically your. Uh, your board is a dynamic board, so it really changes depending on on what are you doing. So, yeah, you, hold, you also have the the bear here. Okay, some other strange looking creature. These are fantastic. That's the reason why I bought this game. And you can notice that uh, all the single um, uh, tiles here have a background. So depending on the background, you can also have, uh, follow specific rules. Some are different. Uh, have different background. Some are different color, etc., etc., and you have all this creature, uh, which belongs to the universe of Thala McPherson. Okay, this strange, evil-looking guy here, and uh, the whale, of course. Uh, I may be tempted to actually make them with the resin because you, as I did with uh, with this one, this guy, those guys here, as I did with these guys. So basically, I may be tempted to actually do something like this because it's much more fun than having just. Uh, the little piece of uh, cardboard here because it's supposed to be just a, a piece of cardboard and the, the other one are better then you have just little pieces of plastic okay there are supposed to be a uh, stand for uh, your uh, player uh, basically signal here so you put it inside here and this is supposed to be uh, your stand so where the player uh, moves around the board but I thought that it was much cooler to have the real thing okay this this little guy here is the real thing <laughs> kind of strange but it's the real thing